And around Europe, Tom, there's a lot of clubs that are, you know, take a chance on young talent and have, you know, um, I think Red Bull Salzburg is a good example. Um, Dortmund have always done it. Ajax have had success. I think Genk have had a really good academy bringing players through. Um, when you've been uh, compiling these lists over the last, you know, six, seven years, are there teams that always stick out for, for getting it right more often than not? And what, what do you think the formula is for them to get it right so successfully? Yeah, it's it's difficult. Just, it's difficult to think of many clubs outside of the ones you sort of name, but they do do it in different ways. Like Salzburg are very much recruitment based. Like they go out and sign 16 year olds who they believe will be in their first team in a couple of years time. That's sort of the way they do it. And they've done it obviously most famously with Haaland. They did it with Shaboslai, who's now been linked with Liverpool. I mean, the list is, I won't go through them all, but the list is endless and it's, that's how they do it. Dortmund, it's a bit of a combination of both. So they, they bring through their own, but they also go out and sign like 16, 17 year olds. Some who are first team ready, like Bellingham and Sancho and others like the other English player, they've got Jamie uh, Bino Gittins, um, who they signed for Man City as a 16 year old and, played deep, pretty well for their first team last year between some injuries. And then Ajax have very much that homegrown, they've been in our academy since they were eight years old sort of way. And theirs is clearly coach, their coaching and the way they coach very young players is what works for them. Now they've, they've started to follow a bit of that Dortmund model the last few years and sort of started signing a few interesting 15, 16 year olds. They actually signed a guy from Genk called Mika Gotts, who I think is going to be a pretty decent player. Um, he made his debut already last season uh, for the first team. But yeah, they're, they're very much a, we coach these players up to play a certain way. La Masia at Barca is obviously a similar model to that. So I don't think there's any right way to do it. It's just making sure there's a pathway and having the confidence that when these players get to a level where they're ready, you give them the opportunities. Like Ajax had a 16-year-old defender play basically the whole second half of the season for them last year, Joel Hato. He was going to be a really, really good player. Like, they saw he was ready and they put him in. He was in the under-17s at the start of the season. He jumped three levels within six months. And they were like, this guy's got to be playing. It's having that, and that's what Brighton, I think, do. They do it to with slightly older players because their league is probably a better league. But that's what you've got. To, you've got to show players as a pathway and you've got to have the confidence to put them in. And if they make mistakes... That, that shouldn't end them, that shouldn't finish them. You put them back in next week and you show them what they did wrong. So I don't want to say there's a certain method to doing it other than, yeah, when they're ready, put them in.